Hey there, everyone, and welcome back to Mashup Math. My name is Anthony, and thank you for joining me on this mini lesson. Let's just go ahead and check it out. Hey everyone, thank you again for stopping by and joining me on this practice problem where we are going to gain some experience using formulas and some algebra skills to solve problems. So let's go ahead and model this scenario. We have a cylinder that has a diameter of 10 centimeters. Now we know that half of a diameter is a radius, so half of 10 is 5. So in this case, the cylinder has a radius of 5 centimeters. Now, the next important piece of information that we are given is that the cylinder has a volume of 225 pi cubic centimeters. So we can represent this by writing that V, the volume, is equal to 225 pi. And what we are actually trying to figure out in this problem is the height of the cylinder in centimeters, since we don't actually know how tall this cylinder is. So what we will be solving for is the value of h, the height of the cylinder in centimeters. Now you probably already have some experience finding the volume of a cylinder by plugging the values of the radius and the height into the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder. But in this case, we don't know the value of h, so we can't use the formula directly in ways that we're used to. However, we are still going to use the formula for finding the volume of a cylinder to find the solution to this problem and we know that the formula for the volume of a cylinder is equal to pi multiplied by the radius squared multiplied by the height. And since we were already given the volume of this cylinder, we know that this product will be equal to 225 pi. Now all that we have to do is use some algebra skills to find the value of h. Now, we should notice that we have a pi on both sides of the equal sign. Now, we can actually divide by pi on both sides to effectively cancel these out from either side of the equation. <laughs> now, since we know that the radius of the cylinder is 5, we can substitute the value of r with 5. And we know that 5 squared is equal to 25. So now we are left with 25 times the height is equal to 225. And remember, we're solving for h here. We're trying to get h by itself and find out what value it represents. We can do that by performing inverse operations. The opposite of multiplying by 25 is to divide by 25 on both sides of the equal sign. That will cancel it out on the left side of the equal sign. On the right side, 225 divided by 25 is equal to 9. And we can conclude that the height of this cylinder is equal to 9 centimeters. So if this is your first time solving a problem like this, it's a good idea to go back and go through it a few more times. They can be a little bit tricky, but if you put in the effort and practice a little bit, they do get a lot easier. Just remember that when you're using formulas, you can use them in a variety of different ways, and that it's also very important to model problems like this by drawing your own picture so that you can better understand what's going on and find the solution. So that's it for this problem. Thank you again so much for stopping by and I will see you all next time. Bye. All right, so that's it for this lesson. Thank you again for stopping by. I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, please click that link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Leave a thumbs up and a comment on this video. We could really use your support. And also don't forget to sign up for our weekly newsletter. When you join our mailing list, you get a free ebook download as well as weekly resources, tips, insights, and some cool contests and giveaways as well. So don't miss out on that. There's a link on this page you can click to join the mailing list, and that's all you have to do. So thank you so much again for stopping by and for all your support, and I will see you all next time. Bye.